How's it going you guys? The one MFP here. I hope you're all having a great day today. It's time for me to get back to No Fun Intended. If you guys missed any of my past No Fun Intended reactions, I'll have a playlist linked in the description box down below. In there you will find all my past No Fun Intended reactions. I've reacted to six thus far. So today I'll be on track number seven, which is just like yesterday. So let's get right into it. Man, this is low. You'll cry, no sound. Wipe the tears with your doubts and die again. Cause they know the desperation and temptation is free. Do you see? I can't live this way just to write a song to play. Just to stay alive, just enough to breathe away. Another day, another face, and I will lose another race. Save it now, cause tomorrow's gone just like yesterday. They laugh in your face, cause they took your. Okay, that, that explains it. At first, I was wondering if this recording was basically just Tyler playing this song on a piano and singing and then somebody recording him with a phone or something. It's kind of what it was sounding like, but then towards the end I was questioning if that was the case because I was hearing some other sounds in there that didn't really sound like they would be part of such a recording. But then at the end we hear some people clapping, so I'm guessing that is the case. I'm guessing, you know, he was performing in front of some friends, some family, or you know, a bunch of people and somebody recorded it and that's how it ended up here. But I'm curious, is there another version of this song that's recorded with better quality? I really liked what I heard here, it sounded really beautiful, so I'd be interested in hearing it in better quality. The piano sounds beautiful, the vocals sound emotional, and they support the lyrics really nicely. And speaking of lyrics, we have a verse here that's almost identical to a verse off of Ode to Sleep. I say almost because the ending is slightly different and I'll get to that once I go through the lyrics with you guys. But before getting into that, I do want to say how much it amazes me that he conceived a verse this early on that would end up being on a song that I consider to be monumental to 21 Pilots storytelling. I mean, first of all, if you just go through my 21 Pilots reactions, I think Ode to Sleep has to be one of those songs I refer back to the most when I try to give you guys my thoughts on a song and what it means to me. That could just be because of the order in which I listen to 21 Pilots music. But if you think about it, Ode to Sleep is the first track on the first album they released under a major label. And I think there's a good reason for that. It introduces the listener to a lot of those themes and metaphors and symbols that are so important in other 21 Pilots songs. If I had to choose one track to introduce someone to 21 Pilots music with, I think it would have to be Ode to Sleep, just because from a sound standpoint, you have that variety in sounds in the instrumentals, you've got that variety of sounds in Tyler Joseph's vocals, you know, he goes from the singing to the rap, and from a lyrical standpoint, you're getting all these little things that end up being so important to the overall concept behind Tyler Joseph's writing. You know, the main thing, of course, is the metaphor of the cycle of the day, which can be relevant in any lines that involve the day, the night, 
dark, light. I mean, if we look at 21 Pilots' most recent music video at the time that I'm recording this, that would be chlorine. And in the visuals for that song, we have that transition from day to night to convey an idea. And also with chlorine, the main theme, of course, is music and how Tyler uses it and how it can hurt him at times. With Ode to Sleep, Tyler introduces us to the significance of his writing. You know, he says, some may see a pen, I see a harpoon. And beyond that, other elements to take away from Ode to Sleep that end up being important in a lot of 21 Pilots music is Tyler's struggles with freedom, his struggles with faith. You have him asking for forgiveness. I mean, you're even introduced to fire, which ends up being a pretty big symbol in a lot of their music videos and in a lot of their lyrics as well. So all that to say, it's pretty incredible to think that Tyler Joseph conceived a verse here this early on that would end up being on a track that is so fundamental to the storytelling behind 21 Pilots music. Anyways, with that said, let's get into the rest of the lyrics of the song. First one goes, you're scared when you say you talk to them today when asked your faith. Now, them. Um, I was wondering who them was as I was listening to this song. I'd like to know what you guys thought. Let me know in the comments down below. I'll let you guys know what I thought. Uh, there's two different ways I was seeing this. One of them was basically just being people outside of Tyler's world. And by that, I mean people who are not exposed to his internal dialogue. And I think the best way I could explain that is if I talk about some other lines here. When asked your faith, you'll cry no sound. And then if we jump ahead in the song to the verse that is pretty much identical to the Ode to Sleep verse, he says, a mask that portrays that we don't need grace. Whatever it is he is portraying is a carefully constructed image. And so he feels a little bit guilty when people think that that is the true him. But then he ends off the verse with, wipe the tears with your doubts and die again. So that tells me that yes, he feels bad, but then he's reminded why he is not in line with his faith. He has these questions that he still doesn't have the answers to. And that brings me into this chorus. I can't sleep, it's taking time off my feet, but my head instead is going 100 miles a beat. So, you know, I think I talked about this in Taken by Sleep. Tyler seems to feel robbed of answers to his questions by sleep. It's like he thinks that if he thinks about it enough, he could come to conclusions. And those conclusions would only come at night because he only thinks in this manner at night. Once the day ends, those thoughts die with the day and he starts off in this new day where he's trying to portray grace in the day again. Then he's brought back to his struggles at night, but he's not where he left off in the previous night. He's kind of back at the starting point and the questioning process. And that brings me to the other way I was hearing him say they and them. I'm thinking as I'm sinking and he's winking at me because they know the desperation and temptation is free. Do you see? I can't live this way just to write a song to play, just to stay alive, just enough to breathe away another day, another face. I will lose another race, save me now, because tomorrow's gone just like yesterday. So going back to the idea that Tyler is stuck between two identities where one of them is his faith and the other one is who he wants to be, he wants the answers to these questions so bad so that he doesn't have to sway between these identities. Anytime one of these questions come up in his head, he wants to have the answer so that there's no fear there to drag him away from either identity he ends up adhering to. And that's the second meaning they takes on for me here in this song. It's like he's demonizing the questions as he believes that those questions are the reason he gets dragged away from his faith. Much like we see in Drown, I think it was. There comes a point where Tyler is too far away from his faith and he hits a wall and that wall doesn't allow him to proceed any further towards who he wants to be. Here in this song, he's blaming the questions for bringing him away from his faith and for forcing him into this wall. And then we have this second verse, they laugh in your face because they took your grace, but did you give it away? So here I could see that as he feels humiliated. He feels like his demons are laughing at him because he was enticed to leave his faith, but then in the end he ends up suffering. Or I could see it where they are the people that are not exposed to Tyler's internal dialogue. And in that case, it's still this feeling of humiliation that's being conveyed to me. It's like he goes through so much to put on that mask every day. So for that image of himself to be perceivably ruined, it hurts him inside. But then we end off the verse with, wipe the tears with your doubts and die again. So once more, he's brought to this point where he's reminded that he doesn't know who he wants to be. And that brings me to the Ode to Sleep verse. 
On the eve of a day that's forgotten and fake, as the trees they wait and clouds anticipate the start of a day when we put on our face, a mask that portrays that we don't need grace and the meaning and the weight of a day is lost without a trace. Uh, I don't remember that being an ode to sleep. Let me, let me pull up the ode to sleep lyrics here to see if that's in there. A mask that portrays that we don't need grace on the eve of a day that's bigger than us. So yeah, that's a line that doesn't end up in Ode to Sleep, so that's pretty interesting to note. And what's really interesting about that line, the meaning and the weight of a day is lost without a trace, it puts a focus on the struggle and how it hurts him that, you know, by the end of the night, he just falls asleep, he wakes up in this new day, and that struggle just didn't mean anything because he doesn't get any closer to his conclusions or his answers. I think it's really important to highlight the reoccurring mention of a cycle here. He says die, but he says die again. He's talking about losing another day, another face, another race. He's saying, cause tomorrow's gone just like yesterday. It's like he's being forced to lose over and over again. And that brings us back to these questions that he's demonized. The struggle exists because of the demons, but he feels like he doesn't have it in him to beat these demons because the day ends and then he restarts and it's the same process over and over again. And that brings me to the last lines of this verse, which is also something that isn't present in Ode to Sleep. Desperately yelling out, there's something else in this world that we need and it happens to be free. In Ode to Sleep, that line was actually, I'm not free, I've asked for forgiveness three times. It's like he comes to this point where he feels he won't get the answers he needs on his own so he's asking for something out there. He's asking for some type of sign that will help him answer his questions. Having the answers to those questions will help set him free in his mind. And with that in mind, it kind of makes me wonder if that last line, it happens to be free. I'm wondering if that's a play on words where he's saying it happens to be freedom, but he's also saying that whatever would set him free is something that he can't really obtain through money or anything like that. That's a pretty interesting line to consider when you think about the meaning of this song. But going into the next section of the song, I won't be afraid, I won't be afraid, I won't be afraid, he is strong and I'll live another day. To me, it seems like he feels he has a negative mentality throughout this song. He's talking about losing another day and feeling like his days are meaningless. Well, now he's trying to feel grateful that he has another day. So instead of being dragged away from his faith, He's not going to allow the unanswered questions to instill fear within him. Instead, he's just going to actively try to have faith. He's going to accept the uncertainty and he's hoping that that will allow him to get through his struggle. But then he ends off the song on the chorus where he says, we can't live this way just to write another song, lose another day, another face. It all comes back to the same point where he feels like his life doesn't have purpose. He feels like his days don't have meaning if he doesn't have the answers to these questions, then as long as he doesn't have the answers to those questions, they will find a way to drag him away from his faith. As long as that is possible, there will be a clash of identities within him. And yeah, that's what I make of Just Like Yesterday. It's a song where Tyler is talking about his struggles with trying to figure out who he's trying to be. He seems to think that daytime is just a waste because he's actively trying to portray something to maintain good appearances. So a lot of the struggle, a lot of the questioning, a lot of the thinking goes on at nighttime. But the problem is the nighttime ends and he doesn't come to any conclusions and then he starts off in a new day and it's the same process over again and he just finds himself asking himself the same questions over and over again and he feels like he's not making any progress on it. He basically just works his way towards his faith, then his questions drag him away from them and then he runs into a wall at which point he goes back to his faith. So with that whole back and forth, it's hard for him to find meaning. He's got this whole internal struggle that he tries to avoid turning into his public personality, so to speak, and with it being the seemingly never-ending cycle for him, it's hard for him to find a purpose in that. If he just had the answers to his questions, he feels that maybe he wouldn't need to put on a mask and maybe his days wouldn't feel fake. At that point, he feels maybe he would feel comfortable portraying what he actually wants to be, whether that is his faith or this other side of him. And yeah, that's what I made of Just Like Yesterday. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. You know, I always love hearing what you guys have to say. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. I always appreciate the support. Please consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already and you liked what you saw in this video. And I will see you all next time. Have a great day, y'all.